Hello, I'm Lord Psycho Nemo, and this is Marrow Pass. Now, Marrow Pass is a little interesting because, well, for one, there's some a lot of these little ball guys because it's obviously a sewer, and they love the sewers. But that's not the only thing that's here. There are two things in Marrow Pass, which um I don't have up right now. Oh crap. Yeah. It's also full of these guys. Anything acorn related. Acorn? Why am I calling it? Why did I call him an acorn? But one second. Oh, there's the other one. I forgot he gives them shields. Now, as you're going through here. I suggest just going through it first and killing everything. Oh, where is this? Because these guys are a little annoying, especially if you let that guy cast his spell first. Alright. Alright, um, look at that, we'll come back to that later. Look, there's another one. We will eventually kill those. But for now, we're just casually running by them to talk to this lovely person. I guess. No one of them must not be in here. Whatever. So you get those things and you talk to this guy. Yes. Come on then. Listen. Anywhere you look, humans kill each other. Feed off each other like dogs. This is stranger. The root came to save us. Predestined will live forever in the roots embrace, like the root mother. Um, why are you here? I saw this place in visions. The root okay, this is clearly boring. For me, at least. I've already listened to all of his dialogue tracks. You can do it if you find it on your own. As for now, he gives you something, and then you go back, and you're like, okay, thanks for the free item, dude. Let me immediately betray your trust um, by going over here. Oh, reopening the door. OP dude. Thanks for the free. Oh, I told my list. Anyways, um, you go back. You could, if you're playing with three people, you could have one guy run to the end and the other two wait at hearts. It's what I used to do, but since I'm doing these recordings by myself, I'm just doing it on my own. Anyways, uh, as you run through. Yada yada yada. Ooh, look at all the stuff I left behind because I don't actually care. Pick it up now because I have to. Well, I can. Yeah! Celebration! Celebration! If you're wondering what item I got from the guy, I'm gonna show both items you get from this. Actually, I quite of them straight. Um, in Ward 13 after. But, anyways, what you do is you go up to these hearts and then you shoot them. They're not hearts. I just call them hearts. Yo, no, I killed one of his root communication devices. Whatever shall he do? Oh, no. If you can't see where I'm going with this, you destroy both of these nexuses. And then you return to the guy. I love making it bleed. Because it's a tree. That's what I call them hearts. But, oh, no, the root nexuses. They've been destroyed. Oh look, another box. Oh no. Mister, mister, I destroyed your root nexuses. Whatever shall you do? Oh no. The root will consume all. 
I shot him before he could finish it. Well, really? Can you stop that? Anyways, you kill him. Then you get the second item. Back to Ward 13. All right, so this is after you do the Cult of the Root, which is in the Marrow's Pass. Okay, that's really rude to interrupt me. Great mean lady, always working on the engine. Anyways, remember, talk to the cultist first, and he'll give you the ra the root circulate. Which why does it always go to inventory first? It's because I press I, isn't it? Anyways, which increases melee speed by fifteen percent. And then after you talk to him and exhaust all his dialogue, and you get the circlet or XP if you already have it. Go back. Okay, so map really. Go through there. Kill all the little tumbleweed creatures. Can't remember what they're called for the life of me. Ignoring the hearts and find the cultist. And then, after you talk to the cultist, go back and kill all the hearts, and then he'll be hostile and kill him. And after you kill him, shut the hell up, lady. I'm trying to talk. You get the braided thorns. Which increases crit chance by 10%, granting an additional 10% for 10 seconds after slaying an enemy. Which honestly is not a bad ring. It doesn't match my normal build. But, just for now, I'm to make these videos easier for me and for everybody else watching, I kind of took off my all of my gear so you could see the only items that you get from the bosses. You don't get anything else for this little dungeon, and you won't always get this dungeon. You can get it in adventure mode, but anyways, I should not do videos near that lady again. Holy cow! I stood next to her in one of them, and she didn't even care. The one I stand across in the room, she gets pissed or annoying. Anyways, if you found this video helpful in any way, or if you like this video, please leave a like below. Don't ta me, punch a can. Anyways, if you have any comments or complaints, because complaints are comments, please leave them down below, and I might read them, and I might even reply. Anyways. Thanks for watching.